All right, we got it ready for both players. Let's go ahead and get counted down for game number one in three, two, one. Tetris. Captain Judas, believe it or not, I have a cinnamon allergy. Um, it's like a weird, like everyone on my mom's side of the family has a cinnamon allergy. Shredded wheat's good. Sometimes I go for Cheerios. I don't really know if Cheerios, like the Honey Nut ones, are a top five, but sometimes it's like it's like a little bit of a nostalgia thing. What else do I do? Um, oh man, I, I have started eating breakfast cereal again because uh, I am. Um, it's easy, and I don't want to think too much in the morning. You know, it's like I gotta work him soon. I want to try to do work. Both players. I don't think either player's taking a burn yet. Uh, looks like Andy's going to take some burns, but it won't be too taxing. Andy's good at this. We'll have to do a little bit of cleanup. Takes the Tetris. It's it's Tetris. They're, they're doing level. These are some of the best players in the world. They're doing level 18. They should be okay. And talk about breakfast cereal in the meantime. What other what other good ones are there? What ones I normally buy? I tried to stay away from those that are too sugary, but like, you know, it's sometimes you just gotta go for it, you know what I mean? Like, I do, um... Crap, what do I normally get? Um... Cookies, yeah. Cookie crisp. Like, if I wanted cookies for breakfast, I would just eat Pop-Tarts. Um... Just a little, it's a little bit too much. Oats here. Yeah, Honey Butchers of Oats is really good. Uh, some brands have cinnamon in them, some don't. So, like, that's a little, a little touch and go for me. But, like, Honey Butchers of Oats, I would say that's, that's, that's a really good cereal. They, 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 uh, they uh, struck upon a golden combination there. Um, Reese's Puffs are pretty good. Again, I don't really go for them just because, like, my stomach... If I, if I gave my stomach too much sugar in the morning, it will just, like throw a fit because I'm uh I'm in my 30s now I can't do that to myself anymore <laughs> all right we got a uh, Zeno up at uh 229 make that 252 through pretty six Andy's at 212 takes another Tetris so Zeno I uh, about a Tetris lead here so a very early day so we're about 50 lines in okay boomer <laughs> god I have to I can't believe I have to like I, I turns out i can't just like eat a bag of doritos for dinner anymore it's just if, if i do that like my stomach hurts for some reason just this getting old sucks y'all you can't just eat doritos for dinner anymore um i mean yes i could it just it would be unpleasant uh you see i'm taking a little bit of a lead here they're at 320 andy at 303 um i guess i, I think i i I'm just be i mean Obviously, like, you know, if, it, if you don't eat, like, super well, you're not going to feel great, I think, no matter what age you are. But it definitely gets worse with age, you know? Kind of same with, the, you know, the hangover thing. But, you know. Like. Yeah, I can't eat, like, again, like, people used to think I was crazy. I tell them I get a stomach if you eat too much sugar. So, you know, I was hitting a little bit of traffic here. They're waiting a lot more. They are Tetris ready. They're spending on the bar. Uh, it ain't coming. Gonna have to take some burns here. And so they take a take a safety. Not really a triple or single and a double. They're really not wanting to burn, and they finally get that Tetris. That's gonna allow Andy to take the lead here a little bit as Zeno does take another dirty Tetris. Getting that board down a little bit, so now they can do the burning. Gonna try to solve this in a way that does not bleed too much pace because you know it's you know, they're they're playing Pixel Andy. Pixel Andy's good at Tetris. So I don't like know this. That's a, that's, a, that's a fairly well-known fact in these parts. But, uh, they do, yeah, so it looks like Zeno is out of the jam. They have not really bled too much pace. Andy has taken the lead, but it's uh, by less than a Tetris. Andy gets a long bargain and he gets a Tetris. We're Andy 472, Zeno 454. If you wanted some numbers, sometimes numbers help. I feel like sometimes I'm trying to do it a little more where like I instead of like telling people like numbers I'm going to tell them like what the lead is is and he does some nice little burns here try to get out of a situation they do so pretty expediently he gets the lumbar gets the tetris I'm definitely I 
Alright, both players across the 500k mark. Both players actually just barely over the 500k mark. Uh, Sasha in a little bit of trouble here. Uh, oh, getting pieces over. Look at that. Look at that. Nice rolling on exhibition or being exhibited. Okay. On display or being exhibited. And now with a Vitz set up, putting on the lumbar. Delayed Vitz. Where's the bar? Give Sasha the bar. There it is. Okay, so we got Andy 569, Zeno 551. Both players getting really close to transition. Andy just one Tetris away. Zeno a Tetris in the line. Getting to level 19 here. That's where the party really starts. There are five divs. All right, there we go. Both players have transition. Andy's at 616. Zeno's at 600. There are five divs, but then there's a separate tournament for people under those five divs called TNP. If you wanna, if you wanna know more about that, you can throw a exclamation point TNP in the chat, and that is pretty much anyone can join that. Well, actually, literally anyone can join that as long as you can play Tetris, and that has four divs. Gold, silver, bronze, and beginner. So we got both players level 20. Andy's at 563. Zeno at 5. Sorry, no. Sorry. 655. Zeno at 660. And he's running into traffic. It's very close. Very, very close right now. But Zeno drains out another Tetris. Zeno looking a lot cleaner right here. Andy is trying to get out of this pickle. Gets a lumbar. Not going to put the dependency with it. Going to go ahead and take the lines. But man, I, think, I think Andy knows what, Andy knows what he's doing. Go ahead and get so Andy needs something over the left, gets it. Andy looking to get out of this as soon as possible. Zeno in the meantime also doing a little bit of digging much lower down, so not really. So hopefully we'll get out of this soon so they can continue to pour on some points. Zeno has definitely taken the lead. Zeno is at 752. Andy's at 676. Well, Andy is getting up a little higher. Andy. Gets a double, that's very nice. Gets a lumbar over, that's very nice. Gets a little lumbar. It looks like, oh, Andy, a little bit of a misdrop of a um, Z piece. So that's going to prolong his dig a little bit. Uh, so he's still zigging. In the meantime, Sasha taking advantage. Sasha laying on the hurt. Sasha's at 813. Andy's at 691. Andy's still digging. And just cannot get out of this dig. We've all been there. It's a painful thing to be. Just kind of like, you're almost out of it. You're almost out of it. Then just like one little misdrop or one like bad piece comes and if Andy's finally out of it, gets a Lombard, gets a Tetris, goes up to 731, level 25. Zeno gets a Tetris, goes up to 858, level 25. And Andy in the meantime has had a little bit of an awkward placement of the Lombard. Um, so that's... Uh, you know... Yeah, I'm not sure what happened. Yes, it looks like Chad's like referring to something that happened on Zero's side. I'm not sure what it was, but you know. Yeah, that was a really good clean up, but uh And he definitely had behind by a little bit. Gonna to have to make this might have to make this up in uh in level twenty nine play. Zeno's about to max out here. Nine ninety two, winning on a lumbar. There's a lumbar. Gets it. A thirty for Zeno. There's the max out going up to level twenty eight. Andy also level twenty eight, eight seventy three. So there's Zeno up by 150,000 points, but again, you know, if you can, it's kind of level 29 world, you know, just, you know, this is just the, obviously this sets up, and I feel like most of the time, you know, your performance on 19, but there you go. Zeno goes into a uh, level 29 game. Oh, can he get Zeno over? Zeno set up for a Lombard. It's, uh, sorry to say, he was set up for a Tetris, winning on the Lombard. Can the getting pieces over? They're getting it down, but the Lombard comes just in time. In the meantime, Andy's also in post, but I can't see what's going on over there because of an ad. Really an opportune time for an ad. But right, Zeno is up to B26. Andy trying to keep the stack down. Zeno's not looking great. Zeno's stack looking over. Can Zeno get anything to the left? No, they can't. Zeno's going to top out at B28. That is B28. So that's your chase down. Andy, you're going to need B28 in order to take it. And Andy takes the Tetris there. Still don't know what the score is, but that was, you know... Really nice. Andy up to, oh, Andy up to B26, but doesn't get the long bar all the way over. Oh no, drains another long bar. That's going to be it. Zeno's going to take game number one. Andy was set up, but couldn't get the lumbar over. Oh, my goodness. GG's. Woo. Great game number one there. Both players really kind of laying it on there. 
Andy, though, could it get out of the level, level 19 post dig? And that's what made the difference. Sorry, number, number two in three, two, one, Tetris. Got Jesus says, yeah, I love these guys. Yeah, they're, they're great. It's like those old Mariners commercials. Can't help but love these guys. Um, I only know that because I saw John Boy's thing. Like, John Boy's is this YouTuber that does a lot of, like, statistical sports content. And then he had, like, a showing of one of his, like, video series in Seattle. It was about the Mariners. It was a good time. Um, I'm glad I went. People make Tedra's gym cards for, like, 30 bucks. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. There's a longboard for Andy. There's a Tetris. Both players have some on the board. Yeah, I might get an Everdrive eventually. I don't know. I feel like, my, you don't, again, you don't really need one in order to play, right? Like, you don't... A lot of these players just play on ROMs, right? So, again, very low barrier to entry here. If you want to play on an NES, it's definitely a very different experience, right? You have, um, like, I think it's probably better if you're playing on a CRT and yeah, kind of being able to, so, like, I think that's kind of what the uh, EverDrive slash cart, you know, specialty carts facilitate. But, you know, you don't need that. If you have any yes, you can just play on the cart. Alan, yeah, I'm <laughs> business mogul. <laughs> Alan just knows, uh, Andy playing high up, and Andy, you know, doing Andy things. Gets a look at a couple of Tetrises. Sasha, a little bit of traffic, but it ain't too bad. She'll figure it out. Sorry, they'll figure it out. And we'll be on our way. Is there a cool? Yes, it is called Rolling, Captain Judas. It is, yeah, so instead of... There's, like, different play styles in any of Tetris. Most of the top players use Rolling nowadays. Yeah, Zeno's also rolling, but you can't see those hands. You can't see their hands. So like, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So what's happening is, in order to get more um, inputs on the controller, instead of they are holding, they're hit, they're hitting the bottom of it with like their fingers in rapid succession. There's some uh, really good Games Count videos about it. You can find it. There's like a <laughs> Zeno's hiding something. They're hiding their fingies. They're they're. Finger mingers. I saw a video. Actually, I was going to tell you, I going to tell you about the movie I saw yesterday, but it's kind of gross. Anyway, one of the. I'll tell you anyway, okay? It's like y'all you know, could deal with a little bit of screamishness. Um, I might be a little bit of a spoiler, though. It's like the Banshees. This, this movie set on like a remote Irish island in the middle of the Irish Civil War. Though they are, they're not like civil warring in the island. But there's no Irish, like it affects the plot somewhat. But like you know, Andy's up kind of high. We're gonna have to do a little bit of digging. So they're you know, they currently lead three twenty nine to two fifty four as we're about halfway through level eighteen. Well, Andy gets out of it really quickly. I don't know what I was saying. I don't, know. don't doubt Andy. That's kind of one of the things. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so there are three different play styles, right? So there's rolling, which is kind of what all the uh, top level players are doing nowadays. There's tapping, which is hyper tapping, which is just, you know, tapping the, you like shake the controller a little bit while you do it, but that's just like tapping the controller over and over again. And that's kind of, you know, Corian Joseph, Thor Ackerland, very famous practitioners of tapping. And there's Das, which is playing the game like it was intended to, okay? Play to NES Tetris like God intended. Um, well, yeah, let's give a quick score update. We got Xeno scoring at Tetris going to 371. Xeno at 427, so up by about 50,000 points. Um, they're, you know, low 90s in terms of... Uh, hello, hello, hello. It's Tetris Alex T. It's Jer Gerald Freeman. Hello, we got some pet players. Again, two two very good Tetris players. How do people do rolling? <laughs> yeah, um, I'm explaining rolling to people. There's also this thing where like people like they want to do the weird weird to the back of the controller. I don't, I don't know if I'd describe it weird weird. I don't know. It sounds a little. Anyway, 
Uh, we got Xenophilius with a t spin set up, decides to not go for it, but then the T came right afterward. That's because that's what happens in this video game, like constantly. It's just when you have to deal with. And these board look a little spicy, but it's, it should be fine. They'll be fine. They're digging out of it. Um, and they have the well open anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I guess it does matter, but you know. Um, Xeno gets the Tetris, goes up to 492, and he's at 525. Full players getting kind of close to the transition here. Xeno probably wants to clean this up beforehand. Sorry, Andy wants to clean this up. Xeno's perfectly clean. Sometimes just say the wrong player name, which is not a great attribute for a. Uh... Anyway, Andy gets the Tetris, goes up to 554, and Xeno Tetris is into level 19. So we got Xeno at 562, Andy at 556. Xeno has taken the lead. As Andy still. Andy cleans. Manages to clean up his dig though, so he is going to be a okay peachy keen going into post tier as Andy does retake the lead after Zeno having to do a little bit of safety burning. Zeno's a 590, Andy 607, made that 632 after the latest Tetris, but Zeno fires one back, one right back, going to 616. And he has a slight lead, but it's less than a Tetris, so we are really close. Thanks, Alex. Uh, you you will you will you will get there eventually. I believe in you, Tetris Alex T. Um, just this crazy journey called Tetris. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Alex T is a is a really good Tetris player. It's, anyway, they, 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 there's this thing they do. It's, 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 it's a bit they do. He does. Anyway, Andy's at 668, 696. Make that after latest Tetris. You know, fires back goes up to six. Uh, Zeno's screen froze, but there we go. We're back. Okay, now we're back. 676 for Z Zeno. Six, sorry. S Let me try that again. 753 for Zeno. 753 Andy. Wow, that's the same score. Andy's ahead by a Tetris in terms of pace, so Zeno is technically in the lead, but Zeno having to take a few burns, probably from the same pieces that Andy had to burn because they weren't long bars in their same piece sets. We got Xeno getting a Tetris going at 8.15. Andy's at 8.12. Wolf Lighter Tetris ready. Xeno gets the long bar first. Andy fires right back. We got both players in level 24. We are neck and neck, y'all. Can't get much closer. Xeno, 8.46. Andy, 8.74 for that latest Tetris. But Xeno fires right back. Xeno up by 4,000 points. Both players level 25. Neck and neck, y'all. There we go. Both players kind of playing out of their minds right now. 900k through 25. They are going to... Only a couple of Tetris for maxing out. As Andy goes into level 26, 940. Z Zeno at 973 goes into that series same level. Gets another Tetris. Get, maxes out. Level 26, A06. Andy right behind them, A05. Y'all. These, these players are separated by 1,000 points. And we're in level 26. It's about to get, you know, we, we don't have a whole lot of 12, we don't have a whole lot of uh, 19 speeds left. They are. Oh, Zeno seeing something over to the left. Zeno gets it. Zeno's in a little bit of trouble here. Can Zeno get. Is the left blocked off a little bit? Can Zeno get anything over? They can. Okay. But they're going to have to get a nice series of pieces here. It looks like they're not really getting it as they're in level 27. They don't have a whole lot of time left before 18. Sorry, 429, but they're going to reopen the well. The very latest gets a long bar to get the Tetris. Zeno goes up to A91. A B, Andy's at B22. Andy gets a long bar to get the Tetris. Both players into level 29. Andy B58. Zeno B63 at Atlantis Tetris. Zeno up by 12, 000, about 2,000 points. Still anyone's game here. It's a long bar for a long bar dependency. Zeno trying to get this board down, but doesn't get a J all the way over. Sorry, that's an L. Gets a long bar over, though, so that's going to help them out a whole lot. Can they dig out of this? Andy, in the meantime, looking pretty clean. It's a long bar that's only going to be good for a triple, though. Andy has taken the lead. B97 for Andy through 31. Zeno's at B82, and Zeno's board getting higher. Can Zeno get out of this? Needs something over to the left. It's a square over. Oh, but he's a T, and that's going to be it. Zeno's going to top out of B87. And he's good for game number two. GG's. We're tied at one apiece. Woo! Sorry for like the misspeaks. Hopefully that's not throwing off your throwing you off your game too much. Um, trying to get reacclimated to restreaming here. I need to do it more often. But yeah. Great games. Both player both games so far have gotten to level 29. Both games. 
That was very, very close going down the stretch. Um, I think he's going to mull it a bit. That's okay. I'm going to drink some water. Any thoughts about C95, but yeah. My goodness. All right. GG's. All right. We got a ready for both players. Let's count down for game number three in three, two, one. Tetris. Somalian. <laughs> Gerald's making fun of me for mistyping Somalian. Sorry, Somalian. I, I, I apologize. I don't know if who should be more offended, Somalian or the, 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 the good people of Somalia. Zena's running into a little bit of a early, early traffic, but they'll get out of it. It's going to be fine. We'll give Andy a little bit of a chance to take a bit of an early lead here up to 68,000 points. As you know, yet to score Tetris, currently at 8,000. <laughs> Hello, got an alien. Look at that CTO. Oh, yeah, where's the Maturino thing? Hold on. Why isn't it showing? There we go. I just realized the Maturino thingamajig wasn't on my screen. Well, now it is. I guess that was a good time as any to plug the Maturino. Give money. <laughs> Give money to these players. Uh, price pool goes to the players. It's already up over a thousand points, but we love a thousand points, thousand dollars. We love to be even higher. These you know, I would say that's a pretty penny. You, you don't have to, you know, when you're doing the Maturino, you don't even really have to um, give your real money. Though you can if you want to. Um, we're not. Pay in on Tetris. Thank you for the cheer. Cheering 14 bits. Welcome in. Good to see you. How you doing? Hello, hello. Monthly Tetris rating with a party of 126. Hello, welcome in. So I got some Tetris action with a, a, few, a couple of names you might be familiar with here. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hi, hello, Kingsman. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hello. <laughs> Can I say someone took a game off Andy finally? Yeah, no, Xeno was playing really well. Um, Can I say that? The first game, like, uh, again, we've had two really, really good games so far. Um, both players going into level 29 here and beyond, you know. Xeno playing out of their mind in game number one and... Going toe to toe with Andy again, number two. It was really good. And this is game number three. Um, Andy gets the Tetris, goes up to 329. Zeno's currently at 265. Had a little bit of early difficulties in this one, but they were right back in it. And again, doesn't take much to tip the scales here. And currently, the score difference is yeah, about 60 to 80,000 points. Thank you for Pixie Spud. Yeah, I was going to do that, but then I kind of got distracted. But the fact that I was rated by like hundreds and hundreds of passionate Tetris fans. Uh, anyway, how was how was uh, that was you're doing a Masters bracket over in CT uh, CTM, right? How'd that go? Who won? Who lost? Who uh, who who gave it a, who gave it an old college try? Zeno, two Tetrises almost in a row. Moves up to 343. Andy at 424, 385. I call that a pretty good score. Eric Govac, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Wow. Fractal saying, got a meme versus Fractal. Dual 24 max in game one. My goodness. That's some Tetris. Yeah, congrats on that. That sounds awesome. And also, congrats on the big W. Yeah, Sasha's, Sasha's doing really, really well. Obviously, Andy is doing well, too. It's just, this has been a really, really good game. Uh, really, really good set. Uh, anytime, look at where... 
Sasha is at 95 lines, so it's back by a little bit here. But it's well right before the lumbar comes, so the credits, that's, you know, just a thing that happens. We got Sasha 420, Blaze It, Andy at 522. So Andy kind of pulled ahead here a little bit more. Sasha up high. Sasha going to have to do a lot of digging here. Uh oh, Sasha might be in a little bit of trouble, but if they can get out of this, you know, we've seen it. We've seen it from them before. Right, Sasha gets a wall reopened. Can they get a lumbar? Will the lumbar come from them? Oh, they're going to take a safety something, or maybe a lumbar came. I'm not sure, really sure what's going on there, but the lumbar does come there. So we got Andy 573, Sasha 474. As we approach transition. Yeah, really, really good dig. Wish we could see a little bit more of it, but you know, internet connections, it happens. Well, the camera's been pretty good for both these players so far, but you know, things heck happen. People have to get stuck with Comcast because that's the only thing their apartment provides. The Sasha burns into level 19, current up to 522. Andy transitions at a cool 600 and we're off the races. The difference is 80,000 points. Definitely not insurmountable by any stretch of the imagination. As both players looking pretty clean, looks like Z looks like Andy's building up center well. There's a little umber for Zeno. There's a Tetris, so it's up to 621. Andy 662 after the latest Tetris, so Zeno closing in a little bit here, down to 40,000 points in terms of the gap. <laughs> Zemperaske and King, what's your favorite number? And King's asking single digit or double digit. It's an important distinction. Um, anyway, we got Andy at 8, 688, Zeno at 686, very close. This gap has closed considerably. So Zeno kind of getting some in opportune squares, gonna have to do a little bit of burning here. Andy, Andy, Andy presumably got the same squares, I don't really know what's going on there, but uh, yeah, so Andy having to do the digging at the same time, so not really able to take advantage of it too much. Zempro cheering 469 bits. My goodness, Zempro, we appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. We, thank you, thank you, thank you. We got Zeno at 692, Andy at 752. So Andy, I will kind of get the lead back a little bit, but again, this is not anyone's game. We're into level 23, monthly Tetris. Thank you for the follow. You didn't want to follow us? Come on, come on. I guess, I guess, I guess, no one really follows. I don't know if Class of Tetris League follows anyone, but thank you. We appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> just, just give me a guff. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Okay. We got uh, Zeno at 786, Andy at 818. Andy gonna have to do a little bit of digging as Zeno gets a Tetris, goes up to 817. We are within 4,000 points at the moment. Andy does get a Tetris. So Andy only a head bat about a Tetris. Again, another very, very close game as we're level 25, we're halfway through transition. Halfway to level nine, sorry, 29. I was confused 19 or 29. I don't know why I keep doing that, it's silly. Um, they're very different from each other. They're like, in fact, one is twice as fast as the other. Both players into level 26 now. Uh, Andy gets a Tetris, goes up to 949. Zeno's at 915. Zeno's Tetris ready, Andy's Tetris ready. Both players waiting a long bar. Comes for Zeno first. They go into level 27, goes up to four, sorry, 949. Andy's at 983. Both players looking very, very clean. Both players starting to think here about uh, level 19, tra level 29 transition. Okay, so there's only one more level after this of this Tetris speed. Available to them. You know, is Zeno just getting pieces over? Like a champ. Andy, though, up to level 28. Max is out. Zeno almost there. Gets a lumbar, and there is the Max for Zeno. Andy, 839. Zeno, 832. It's going to come down to level. For the third game in a row, it's going to come down to level 29, folks. Both players have transitioned. And he's at A30, A82. Zeno's at A48. Zeno just has a little bit of a hang, but Genzo getting the Tetris, getting that stack down. Much needed. And they get a long bar all the way over. Can they get the right pieces for this? The left is looking a little bit spicy. And he's set up for a Tetris, and that's going to be it for Zeno. Zeno's going to top out at A82. And he's going to take game number three. GG's. My good. Yeah. Third game of the row. These players are just, yeah, again. It's really just a matter of post post here. It's matter of 29. All right, we got it ready for both players. Let's do it in three, two, 
one Tetris. I'm gonna drink some water. Important. Make sure you're drinking water. Uh. There they are. They are playing Tetris. And he gets a Tetris. His ear is waiting on a Tetris. You know, kind of high, but you know, it does. They, they, they had a plan and they executed it, and now they got a Tetris. Another lumbar. Still early days, still looking pretty even in terms of score, line count, that sort of thing, especially when you consider how many lines these people have played. Zemperu, appreciate it. Thank you. No, thank, thank you. Thank you. Might be doing less now that uh, Pumpy Heart is actually helping uh, automate a lot of the stuff I'm doing. So they're they're working on that right now. So that's uh, everyone. If you see Pumpy, give him a hand. Also, Greg, Greg Boom Cannon. So yeah, they. Uh, so hopefully, I won't be having to put in the uh, the Elo by hand anymore. But. Rosino's up kind of high. They look like they can get out of this though, and they do. Just waiting in a bar. Bar ain't coming. Ooh, nice. Really, really nice uh, roll there, getting that T all the way over. Zeno setting up that Vitz. Waiting in a bar. Bar kind of comes too late, but you know now now they have it reopened. Looks like they got it, or they burned out of it. I don't really know. Um, probably got it though. And he's at two thirty-seven. Zeno at two twenty-four. So very close. About a twelve thousand point gap. But again, that's not even a Tetris. That's that's like half a Tetris, about thereabouts. So like you know half a Tetris lead. It ain't it ain't nothing, but it ain't very much. Very very close here. Also, if you see a Lily, give her a big hand. She's also um, very instrumental to keeping TMP running. Does a lot, so uh, huge uh, Snow Lily, or I don't know, she changes her name sometimes, but uh, huge shout out to Lily. Make sure uh, let her know you. Let her let's just just let Lily know. Lily know we appreciate her. I don't think she's probably sleeping because it's Britain. Right now, it's Britain time right now. It's uh, like two in the morning. But Lily's British. We can't think British people. What are you talking about, Arbaro? We got Andy at, uh, getting, starting at Tetris, five, 357. Xenofar is right back, goes up to 364. There you go. Oh, Xeno's actually taking a little bit of the lead here, but again, it's very, very close. Let me take a look at the score. About equal. 4,000 points separate the two. It is not very much. We are neck and neck. I don't like saying that, but sometimes you've got to say it. you got to say it. you got to say we're neck and neck. It's, you know, very high. But gets a burn, gets a lumbar, gets a Tetris. 417. You know, having to kind of build asymmetrically here. and needs other things over to the left. You know, kind of not a pretty bored but it's a functional one it's getting the job done they get a lumbar they get a tetris I mean, to over andy said andy doing a couple little bit of digging here Andy definitely you know andy obviously very very good at tetris but you know you can't you can't because you know playing incredibly well you can't give them too much of uh Too much leash to run with, you know, because they will, they will show you what's up. 
Uh, Zeno's definitely taking a lead. Andy is out of his dig, but uh, Zeno is up 560 to 474, so the lead has now gotten up to almost... There's a little bit of overshift, so Zeno does have a hole in their stack. We'll see what they decide to do with it. But very, very... They have a... They have a lead. But again, anything could happen here once we get into level 19. Both players about to transition. And he transitions 544. Zeno transitions 587. Zeno still looking to try to dig out of this. Looks like they might be setting up dirty here. Waiting on something to put it over. They just board game is just not giving them anything to get over to the left. And Zeno might be in a little bit of trouble. Is Zeno getting anything? Yeah, Zeno is looking a little bit. Oh, okay, nice. Gets the lumbar over. It's definitely going to allow Andy to catch up, though. Andy's at 581. Zeno's at 595. Both players digging now. Andy up. Both players maybe digging around the same spot. Oh, there we go. Nice series of lombards for Zeno. Ends up kind of helping them get out of it. And they finally, finally, looks like Zeno will be able to. Looks like they're setting up dirty. Well, it's not that dirty. One line off the bottom. They get it. Lombard, Tetris, Zeno. Zeno's at 643. Andy's at 643. Both players are neck and neck. Andy is slightly cleaner, though. Zeno's going to spend a few more lines to get a lumbar to burn out that bottom row. That allow Andy to take a bit of a lead here. Andy's at 703. Zeno's at 648. Zeno's still not clean. Waiting on a tuck gets it. Waiting on has a little, a little bit of dependency. It looks like Zeno's going to finally get out of the jam here. But Andy has taken about an 80,000 point lead. Andy is at 760. Zeno's 653. Both players level 23. Lombard Tetris for Zeno. So Zeno now ready to start scoring again. There's a Lombar, there's a Tetris. And he's at 790. Zeno, 711. Yes, Gerald, you are correct. You versus Freeman. Wait, wait. Yeah, the, the, the queue is wrong. I haven't been touching the queue. It's going to be, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's Gerald Freeman versus um, Smallian. There's a Lombar. There's a Tetris for Zeno. Goes up to 771. And he's at 853. And he has a hole on his stack, though. He's going to have to burn it out. I'm going to spend a little bit of time burning it out. Um, Zeno gets a Lombard. Zeno gets a Tetris. 808. And he's at 864. And he also a little bit ahead in lines. So. Is Zeno going to look to take advantage of this? It looks like they are kind of firing a full cylinders. All cylinders here. We got. Zeno at 841, Andy 876. Both players Tetris ready. And Zeno very Tetris ready. Zeno getting droughted, in fact. So Zeno having to take some burns. There's the Lombard finally comes. 878 for Zeno, 943 for Andy, but Andy is at level 27. And he's about a Tetris ahead in terms of lines. Both players getting closer and closer to level 29. There's a Lombard for Zeno. There's a Tetris, 947 for Zeno, 978 for Andy. Both players are wrestling. Zeno is Tetris ready. Andy has a dependency waiting on a L piece. It ain't coming. Where is the L piece? Andy just kind of getting some bogus RNG. But yeah, Zeno just taking advantage. Zeno is Lombar ready. Tetris ready. Has a little bit of a mischief, but it just needs a Lombar now. Zeno really needs a Lombar. This is a very bad time for a drought. Oh my goodness. Give Zeno the Lombar. There it is. Oh, but I can't get it over. Zeno top out, level 28, 964. Andy will take game number five and the set off of a really nasty drought. Oh my goodness. GG's. I, I, Zeno cannot be upset about that set. Zeno played incredibly well. Really just like, yeah, I kind of had Andy on the ropes there a little bit during parts of that set. GG's. It was, that was really good. That was really entertaining. We all, uh, but yeah. Oh, yeah, but like, yeah, I guess that's true. But also, that was a nasty drought, you know? I guess, yeah, like, you're about to go into 29. So, like, you know, going for the Tetris might not have been the, you know. But, like, yeah. GG's.